Hello and welcome to the last in the series of our moon phase rituals. Uh, this one is for the dark moon and is taken from Rachel's Moon Magic Pagan Portals. And just going to get a few bits up. I hope you've enjoyed these. I've certainly enjoyed doing them. Taking me right out of my comfort zone. So, the dark moon. So, what can you do for a ritual for the dark moon? Um, some of you may have read in some books, um, I certainly have over the years, that the dark moon is for doing inner work, for doing contemplation, for doing divination. Um, and some have actually said it's time to do nothing. Hmm. So it's your choice, basically, I think, is what all of that boils down to, because when people write these things down, they're, they're giving you what they're feeling. So this ritual we're going to use as a time to contemplate and to decide what our actual real desires are, not the everyday little things, but the your your real dreams, what you would really like to manifest. So as I posted, you are going to need a green candle in a safe candle holder. And you are going to need some pieces of paper and a fireproof dish. So make sure that you have everything ready. And then as we have done before, we are going to take a few slow, deep breaths just to ground and center and bring us into this space. And then when you're ready, I'm going to cast the circle. Maiden cast this circle white, free from shadow, pure and light. Mother cast this circle red, cast any negativity from our head. Crone cast this circle black, grant us the knowledge that we lack. This circle is now cast unbroken. And you're going to call in the quarters. I call to the east and the element of air, you who are mist and cloud, you who are fresh breeze and wild hurricane, spirit of the hawk, spirit of the sylph, hear me. Bring into these rites purification and clarity, sweep through and remove stagnation, blessings and welcome. I call to the south and the element of fire, you who are the crackle of bonfires, you who are the golden sun and the glowing lava, Spirit of the Phoenix, Spirit of the Flame Dancers, hear me. Bring into these rites your spirit of creativity and passion. Blessings and welcome. I call to the West and the element of water. You who are the undines of the rivers and the sirens of the crashing ocean waves. You who are the naiads of the grottos, come to me. Spirit of the Shark, hear me. Bring into these rites your deepest intuition and truest emotions. Teach me to be flexible, to adapt and flow like your waters. Blessings and welcome. I call to the north and the element of earth. You who are bone and crystal. You who are tree and root and branch. Spirit of the wolf, spirit of the gnome. I call upon you. Bring into these rites your spirit of prosperity, of stability and manifestation, blessings and welcome. I'm going to call in deity. I call upon Arianrod, the dark moon goddess and lady of the silver wheel, 
Join this right today and bring with your, your powers of renewal and rebirth. Blessings and welcome. I forgot my lighter. <laughs> Back in a second. Happens to all of us. Oh, I apologise for that. I got so excited about causing fire. I forgot to actually. So, light your candle. <laughs> Once you've got a nice flame going, you can just sit and gaze at it for a few seconds or a few minutes, as long as you need. As you know, it's pre-recorded, so you just... Pause them as and when you wish. And what you're doing while you are looking at that flame is thinking about what your goals are. And you can have one, you can have more than one. It's up to you. This is your ritual. So take your piece of paper and write down your first goal. can be one word or it can be a sentence as much as you need and you keep that one in front of you and if you've got another one you take another piece of paper you put that one on top Keep them stacked on top of each other. If you've got another one, As I say, if you've got more or it's taking you longer to think, then pause. It's absolutely fine. Now, if you are a ceremonial person, at this point, if you've got a wand or an affirmy, you can tap your piece of paper. You can either do it one at a time as you're doing them. Uh, as you know, I like to keep things simple. So it's a finger. And I'm actually going to tap the amount of pieces of paper that I've got. And now what I'm doing is I'm visualizing a bright, white, clearing light coming down through me, through my finger, through into my pieces of paper to charge them. Then when you feel ready, 
you are going to take this is the fun bit, each piece of paper and you are going to light it in your candle and then you're going to drop it into your fireproof dish hopefully without burning yourself <clears throat> Those of you that know me know that I do love to play with fire. So to that time. And by doing this, the universal energy came down through you, charged your pieces of paper, and now you are releasing this back to the universe. And you can ask Ariane Rudd, if you wish, to show you how you can manifest these. You need to take steps to do so. Ooh. No, he's all right. He's still burning. A bit smoky, sorry. <laughs> Final bit's just gone, that's it. So, as you drop each one, you could have said a quick blessing uh, to the divine. Um, I'm actually just going to, Harry Onrod, I ask for your guidance, your support in manifesting my desires. Blessed be. Now what you can do is you can just sit for a little while um, if you want to meditate um, to gain some clarity on how to go about getting your dreams into reality. Uh, again, you can, while you're meditating, you could ask Ariane Rod to join you to show you if there is anything that's holding you back, uh, past life, issues or even this life um, if there is anything that is blocking you because we are the greatest blockers of ourselves and when you feel ready and again if you need to pause at this point please pause ah, you have something to eat and drink When you're ready, you feel that your ritual is complete. You can snuff your candle out, blow it out, uh, whichever seems appropriate to you. You can then take the ashes and bury them in the earth. Uh, if you've got a compost bin, they can go in the compost bin. Uh, the stub of the candle, you could keep, depending on how much of it you've got, and you could relight it later on today or when you feel that you need to just have that connection to your dreams to see how they're progressing. So, just so I don't send everything flying, just stop that up. When you're ready, we are going to close down our ritual so thanking deity Arianra, dark moon goddess and lady of the silver wheel I thank you for your presence in this rite may your powers of renewal stay with me blessings and farewell guardians of the element of earth I thank you for your presence in this rite I bid you blessings and farewell Guardians of the element of water, I thank you for your presence in this rite. I bid you blessings and farewell. Guardians of the element of fire, 
I thank you for your presence in this rite. I bid you blessings and farewell. Guardians of the element of air, I thank you for your presence in this rite. I bid you blessings and farewell. This circle is open, but never broken. Blessed be. And there you have it. That is the last in the moon phase rituals. Um, obviously, the recordings are going to be here, so they you, you can use them at any time for however long the internet has got them. Uh, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed uh, um, these as much as I have. And I will see you for the next stage in this journey. So take care.